guys hope you're doing great our today's question is sort colors given an array with n objects colored red white or blue sort them in place so that object of the same color are adjacent with the colors in the order red white and blue here we shall use the integers 0 1 and 2 to represent the color red white and blue respectively you're not supposed to use the library sort function for this problem so basically there are three colors which are indicated or represented by 0, 1 and 2 and that's how it is like it's random unsorted and they want us to sort them into 0, 1, all zeros first then ones and then twos right so uh, a rather straightforward solution is a two pass algorithm using counting sort first iterate the array counting the numbers of zeros ones and twos and then overwrite array with total number of zeros then ones and followed by twos right so we can just uh, simply count the number of zero one and two in the array and then just write the array again depending on whatever is the count uh, but we need to come up with a one pass solution which uses only constant space it means we cannot use any extra variables or any other collection and we just need a one pass solution that means we cannot iterate through the array more than once right so right so this is an unsorted array problem and these are the different approaches that we might want to take to solve this so please have a look at them pause the video and come back yeah, so I think uh, here we just need a simple um, pointer approach because we are trying to search for conditions and then rearrange the array according to that, right? So we can basically use pointers here because the solution demands us to do it in one pass, right? So so uh, in in that case, pointers pointer approach is pretty. Uh, pretty justified because we uh, using two pointers we'll just be traveling through the array once uh, our two pointers could be moving uh, from the first or the start but it would essentially be just a one pass solution so I think that kind of fits in but we just have to think about how we can do it right so as we know that there are three different colors we can kind of make our pointers representative for each of them so we can take three pointers okay and we want that 2 will always go at the end of the array, 0 would be at the front of the array and 1 would be in the middle. So while we are moving two pointers, if we ever encounter a 0, we just swap that value with i, right? Because we know that i is a representative of the 0 pointers or the 0 values. And if we encounter a 2, we swap it with the pointer representing the two value, right? And if we encounter one, we just let it be and we just move that pointer towards the left, right? So I think that way is by the end of it, the whole entire array should be sorted. And it will also be a single pass solution because we will be using these three pointers to, to just go through the array once. Right. So let's see how we can implement that. So we'll just have one pointer that will start from zero and another one that will, as I said, will start from the end of the array. Right. So we'll just take numbers.len minus one. And right now we take another one that is also equal to j right at the end of the array. Right. Now we just have to move until our pointers don't meet at a particular point and that's where we want to stop because then that means that the whole array has been traversed so what we do is we just get the current okay uh, we find what is there at nums of j okay now this is the element that we will uh, kind of work out to find if it is at the right place if it is one then it is at the right place J is a representative of the one um, elements or one color and I is for zero and K is for two, right? So if it is zero, then we'll swap it with I. If it is two, then we'll swap it with K, 
right so let's check that so if current is equal to 0 okay then all we have to do is we'll implement this uh, simple swap method so we have to just give this nums and i now now if we know that i is supposed to uh, hold zero values and after swapping since it will hold one then there's nothing that we want to change about it uh, and it is properly arranged and at the right place right this zero so we increment zero uh, i as well and g okay otherwise if current equals 2 then we will swap it with k decrement j right because 2 has been it was a 2 and it has already been shifted to a valid position in k and whatever was at k has been shifted to j so we we I, we are done with that right so you just do a k minus minus Mm, yeah okay um, and otherwise we just move j because if it's one then it's at its right place and there's nothing that we want to do apart from that okay and we'll have to create a method called swap which will take an integer array nums and two integers in let's call them i and j okay so simple swapping function nums of i nums of i equals nums of j and nums of j equals 10. Cool. Since we don't have to return anything from it, we just have to sort this nums. That's all that we, we should need to do. So let's just see if that works. to sorry about that yeah so the time complexity as you saw we've just traversed through it once it is o of n and we are not using anything extra apart from these three pointers which comes as a constant space complexity so we have met what the description of the question needed us to do so i hope you guys find this video helpful and if you do please like share and subscribe keep coding take care guys